Hello, my friends, and I hope you are having a fantastic day. Today, we're going to talk about some Assassin's Creed Shadow. There was a little interesting dust up on Twitter, I thought, regarding someone making a claim, people briefly reporting on it, trying to verify. Here we have Kenji Yamamoto, and he says, So the official Assassin's Creed X page blocked me for speaking the truth. All I've been saying is that Yasuke was not a samurai. There is nothing written anywhere that says he definitively was a samurai, and they know that. So they blocked me for continuing to prove it. And of course, you have the image of him being blocked. Now, out of curiosity, I did, you know, of course, scroll the comments. Some people have this picture of who they think he is. Some people tagging in other creators. People asking if he's published any information. And this guy, this guy's got it right. I agree, Yasuke was not a samurai in the real world, but could be in the Ubisoft universe. Whatever you said, they shouldn't block you anyways. That is correct. I would be curious where people got this picture. Looking at his profile, you see he's not got a lot of tweets. Tagging Elon Musk, putting in the hashtags. Here's Yasuke was in a samurai in his personal journals and diaries of the time. He was not referred to as a samurai, but as an honorary kosho. It would have been very dishonorable, even in one's own writing, to not have referred to him as a samurai if he truly were one. And here, even in this post back on May 18th, he says, In my extensive research, both for my master's and beyond, I have never come across not one single writing. And I think I've read most of it from that period that says Yasuke was a samurai. The official Assassin's Creed account blocked me for continuing to say this. I respect your research, but historical records can be selective or biased. Yasuke's role alongside Nobunaga implies samurai-like duties despite the absence of explicit titles in some writings. Let's consider the broader context and not rely solely on written accounts. So they're going back and forth on that. Then here you have a f comment that includes some kanji that I don't know how to read. Here you can see where he's responded in Japanese. Unless one was born Japanese and had a surname that traced one's ancestry, one could not attain the status of a true samurai except as an honorary title. Here's another one. Fun fact. Yasuke was not a samurai. Fun fact. The way he was treated by Nobunaga would be tantamount to racist behavior nowadays. Yasuke is not the DEI symbol that the woke left would like you to believe that he is. Fun fact, here is the historical advisor chosen for the game. Now here you have the tales of idolized boys, male male love in medieval Japanese Buddhist narratives. Our area of expertise is pre-17th century Japanese language and literature, East Asian sociolinguistics, gender, sexuality, and negotiations of power. Translation, pedagogy. Interesting. So he really doesn't have many tweets. He pinned this response to someone else, and it says Yasuke was not a samurai. Think of this, when Nobunaga was forced to commit seppuku along with all of his samurai at Honojin, why was Yasuke allowed to leave? Answer, because he was not a samurai and did not have to commit seppuku like the other actual samurai were honored to do. Then you have a person just playing in Japanese. Thank you for replying so late at night. That's right, he didn't commit seppuku. Also, I thought that the statement by Kichi, who was a retainer of Nobunaga just like Yasuke, the black slaves don't know anything and they're not Japanese, was the deciding factor. Apparently his response is probable spam. I don't know about that, but okay. Uh, he says that's absolutely correct. It says received stipend, received a sword, received a house. I believe that saying I received cannot be used as proof that one is a samurai, and I have explained this to him many times. The position of Yasuke is considered to be that of the Lord's horse attendant in the Red Circle. Interesting. That position is held by an elite unit made up of elite soldiers with a certain level of military power and intelligence capable of reading the battlefield, so I don't think Yasuke would be able to handle it. This was the position that Mare Toshi held when he was young. Wow, thank you for pointing that out. Was Yasuke in the group a little further back? Understood. Oda Nobunaga's official aides, horsemen, and pages were people who demonstrated the dignity and face of the great ruler Oda Nobunaga and also played a diplomatic role. So wouldn't it be necessary for them to have mastered the etiquette, classics, and performing arts at the time to a certain level? If it had been during the time of Okehazama, it wouldn't it would have been possible, but it was just before the Honoji incident. So I think it would 
have been more realistic for them to have been Nobunaga's personal servants rather than official retainers of the Oda clan. I see. If that's the case, then a lot of things make sense. Thank you. So that was an educational little exchange. Here you have that these kanji is a term for a payment for mid-lower ranking warriors for them to hire, usually warriors for employment, given the term's usage, and that Yasuke was clearly by Nobunaga's side in permanent employment. It doesn't make sense for no Yasuke to be anything but a warrior. And then Kenji responds, but he wasn't a samurai. Oh, and here's another guy. Goes way deeper than Wikipedia. I researched Yasuke back in 2013 when I was living in Japan. There was a coordinated change with the Smithsonian, Britannica, and Wiki, and tons of articles from sites like Time and CNN after the African Samurai book came out in 2019. Shows and movies were, click were quickly announced around the same time as well. This was a media scheme being orchestrated. The book African Samurai is 95% embellished, and all the sites I mentioned cite it as a factual source, lol. Japanese people have even identified these sites mistranslating Japanese documents to make it seem more like Yasuke was an actual samurai. Basically, it's rich white business leaders taking advantage of the current political climate to make money off of legendary African samurai. They tried to embellish Yasuke to make money off his brief slash speculative history. Pretty dirty. Not wrong. Again, looking at debunking him, talking about who he follows. All right, we're getting a little far down the rabbit hole. Now, now on to the actual point here. First, you see a post was deleted by the post author. And then a response from Smash JT. I want to caution everyone that I have not verified the claims... I want to caution everyone that I have not verified their claims of being a specialist in Japanese history. Now, what the original post was, was, of course, him retweeting Kenji and saying, you know, the basic stuff that uh, it was awful for them to block him and etc. Then Smash goes on to say, these don't strike me with a bunch of confidence that the person is who they claim to be. I wouldn't run with the story, but if you do, use extreme caution. And then someone saying this seems like a huge LARP. And then a video which which they are talking about Ubisoft and this fellow who was blocked. And then here's Smash explaining why he deleted the post. He said deleted the post. More details on Samurai Kanji reportedly blocked by the official Assassin's Creed account as it has been confirmed fake. Looks like he's LARPing as some dude from the Department of Medicine at Tokyo University. Nothing to do with Japanese history. Uh, here you have searched three sites. Yes, there's a staff member named Kenji Yamamoto at the University of Tokyo. He is a professor in the Department of Medicine at Tokyo University, actively involved in research and academia, and contributed to numerous peer-reviewed scientific papers and international conferences. Additionally, there is another professional, Kenji Yamamoto, associated with the Ambient Mechatronics Lab at the Stu at the School Frontier of Sciences, University of Tokyo. My only issue with this particular statement is he never said he works at the university, only that he graduated from the university. And those records may not be something that you can easily search up. And here he says, I hold an MA Ed in Asian Studies, with which there is, I did a, a Google search, and there is in fact a master's of education in Asian studies with a focus on Japanese history and a special distinction in the Sengoku and Edo periods from the University of Tokyo. Now, there's a difference between holding a master's degree in something and working at a university. I'm not saying, I'm going to be clear here, I'm not saying that he's telling the truth. I am saying that the fact they don't have him listed on their site as working there doesn't mean he's not telling the truth. Now, I personally would like to see proof, but the fact of the matter is people are at least checking him out. And this is the type of thinking that you have to use when you're on the internet. It's really easy to say things. Now, another issue that we do see is the fact that Assassin's Creed is very obviously blocking these people. And it is a bunch of bullshit. Here you have a fellow... Mofu Master says Ubisoft, the official Assassin's Creed shadow blocked, me, or he's quoting the uh, below tweet into Japanese and then says Ubi will block someone majoring in history if they point it out in English. And then you have a response from Kenji. Should I have pointed this out in Japanese? And he replies, no, I think it would have been more effective to point it out in English. In fact, I think they blocked it because there are more third parties who can read it. 
So that's a lot of interesting information about this fellow and an interesting situation. Personally, whether he is actually a master's of education in Asian studies or not, Ubisoft blocking him because he's refuting their information with what appears to be reasonably good logic and historical documents is bullshit. But all things considered, are we really surprised? Yeah, they're blocking people on Twitter, but of course, in r slash Assassin's Creed, they are also banning anybody who expresses disappointment at the game's content. On the left side, you have people are either going to play the game or they will not. I'm still leaning to playing it, but I do want to see more gameplay, but I am disappointed. This isn't what I expected or was hoping for. I don't care about Yasuke's race. It's whatever. But when I imagined an Assassin's Creed game in this peri- time period, I didn't expect a hulking person swinging around a club, but whatever. They went in a different direction than what I thought it would be. Oh, well. As far as this comment, OP, a reason they definitely did not do this was because of pandering, because that's how businesses work. Like, who exactly would they be pandering to? I disagree. 100% of Ubisoft is neck deep in their DEI initiative. It is part of their core principles. That's fine. It's what drives their choices. But the DEI crowd is who they are pandering to, from the journalists to the activists. And I mean, God, what a horribly mediocre take. (laughs) The guy said he's still going to play it. That is crazy. He just said that he didn't like what was going on. That's so insane. Then you have, hello, you've been permanently banned from participating in r slash Assassin's Creed because your comment violates this community rules. You won't be able to post your comment, but you can still view and subscribe to it. If you have questions regarding your ban, you can contact the moderator team by replying to this message. Reminder from the Reddit staff. If you use another account to circumvent the subreddit ban, it will be considered a violation of the content policy and can recall and can result in your whole account being suspended from the site. Wow. I mean, wow. You're not even allowed to basically say, yeah, I don't really like this, but I think I'm going to play the game anyway. That's insanity. So overall, just just an interesting set of uh, circumstances. I do love seeing people actually research and trying to figure out if the people talking to them on the internet are real. Is Kenji Yamamoto real? Is he actually a graduate with a master's of arts and education, Asian studies? Did he go to the University of Tokyo? Is he a real person? The world may never know. But what do you think? Do you think this is true? Do you think he holds weight? Or do you think he's faking? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Please like, comment, subscribe, and turn on the notifications. Uh, If you really liked it, you can feel free to share it around, and I will catch you later.